Chocolate Shark Fenimore here, and welcome back. Happy New Year, you guys. I can't believe it. I just, a whole nother year of adventures and experiences and tears and laughs has gone by. It's, it's wild. I feel like the first part of 2023 came, and then the last part of 2023 went like a flash. Anyway, today's video is going to be a, that's a wrap that I do annually every year. I've done for the past two years. And this is basically just where I say one thank you so much to everybody who has watched, liked, subscribed, left a hate comment because even with hate comments, you have to start somewhere. And most of all, I just kind of tell you guys about my year and all the cool and new experiences I had this year. For example, experiences I want to talk about is my very first concert that I was actually able to attend this year. And I got to see my dream concert, which was Andy Grammer. That was the most fun experience I can literally say this year. I, I'm not a concert goer, but that concert was most, the most amazing experience. I don't know how to, how to say it otherwise. It, he was so genuine. He was so great. The music, he played every single song that I knew and everyone that was on my list. And I cannot recommend him enough as a, as a concert, let alone first concert. So I ended up attending my second concert, which was Pink on one of the hottest days of the year, which was absolutely ridiculous. I only stayed about halfway through the performance because I just got so hot and dehydrated, I had to leave. I also got into my chef skills this year and actually made over 10 new dishes, some including iconic Christmas spaghetti from Elf, chocolate covered apples, chicken and rice, chili home homemade chili cheese dogs homemade potato platter and many more i just i had such a fun time expanding my palate this year i tried so many new foods i tried so many different ways of trying dishes that i had previously like i had my first dumpling this year i tried sushi for the first time this year which honestly i think i had a spicy crab roll and it was actually really good i i don't know that i like sushi but that one wasn't too bad and honestly it was a good first step into trying sushi because now I really want to take a sushi making class. Fingers crossed that happens next year. I took my very first glass blowing class, which was a whole experience. I didn't realize how hard glass blowing was actually. It was kind of wild um, how long it takes to make one piece. I also turned 25 this year, which is a quarter of my life, which is just astounding to think about. Um, as a celebration, I did go to my very first paint splatter room, which was on my freaking vision board. For this year so that was super exciting it basically if you don't know i'm gonna put pictures up but basically it was a room where you go in with a canvas and then just splat paint at the wall like like crazy just basically just throw paint around and it was a it was a good time my movie reactions hit 1000 views for the very first time that is so crazy to me because i didn't know how this was gonna go as far as a journey on my channel transferring to movie reactions i know that i still do other things on my channel but now i'm kind of primarily movie reactions and you guys seem to really enjoy it which thank you so much but also to know that a thousand and some people have seen one of my movie reactions is both amazing and terrifying at the same time like i can't express how cool that is but also how terrifying it is to think that people have heard my dumb jokes that make me laugh over and over again i also experienced my very first surgery which was definitely um an experience the team were super great and i loved you know how everybody was so kind and so helpful but it was funny because it was actually on my middle finger on my left hand so one it was really hard to edit but two is that it was on my middle finger so like it made it really obvious when i did when i held up that finger some other fun first experiences i got to go to my very first cat cafe which i literally didn't even think was a thing in my area where i live so i am so astounded that that was something i was able to experience this year it literally was drink coffee which i don't really like coffee but i had a hot chocolate drink coffee and pet kittens that was it i also got to attend my very first water lantern festival with one of my friends i did not know what a lot water lantern festival was until i attended it but it was also a really beautiful experience like watching all the lanterns on the water in the middle of the night was like such a magical experience There's so many experiences this year that i've had that i i could put them all in this video but i feel like that'd be a bit overwhelming because it, it's a whole year's worth of things but the biggest thing is this year was although it was super cool it was also one of the most not difficult years but one of the most 
years where I put a lot more pressure on myself. And a lot of that is something I need to work on going into the next year. But I have a lot of trouble with giving myself credit. And that's, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has that problem. But oftentimes I feel like I'm not doing very good or I'm not doing my best. And that's okay. It's okay to give yourself credit. It's okay to feel the way you feel. And it is most important, it's okay to feel like you're enough. I mean, it's that's what that was a lot of my problem this year. I just didn't give myself enough credit. There's a lot of cool shit that I got to do this year. And a lot of things that I branched out to do and a lot of things that I I didn't know that I was going to experience this year. Like, for example, I've had an Andy Grammer concert shirt since 2018, and I had no intention or any idea that I was even going to go to an Andy Grammer concert probably ever in my life. But there's a beaten path for you. It happened. These little small things that are can sometimes be big things that seem like big challenges at the time do lead you in a certain direction. They do happen for a reason. And I know that that's very, very... I don't know, very over, over exaggerated. Like people say, Oh, it just happens for a reason, happens for a reason. But no, it really does because there's things on my vision board that I've got to cross off this year or from last year that I didn't even think I'd do this year. And all in all, without getting into too much of a ramble, I just want you guys to know one, I appreciate the hell out of you because thank you so much for making this platform so enjoyable to be a part of. Thank you so much for watching my stupid content with my stupid jokes. And most of all, I just want you to know, give yourself a break. Give yourself some credit. I know that you struggle with it. I struggle with it just as much the same. And we just need to remember, I am enough. You are enough. We are enough. Remember that. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a great new year. I hope you have a great start to 2024. And most of all, Thank you for everything, and until next time, guys.